Welcome to I Lecture Online. There is an interesting comparison between the seasons on Earth versus the season on Mars. First of all, let's take a look at their inclination. Just like on the Earth, when Mars is at perihelion, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted away from the Sun, which means that it's currently winter time, and at that moment, the planet, since it's closer to the Sun, since it's at perihelion, the planet moves faster in its orbit. That's because of Kepler's laws. And then if we look at the other side, when it's at aphelion, when it's farthest away from the Sun, now you can see that the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun, and so therefore it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere, and the planet moves slower at that point, again, because it's farther away, and according to Kepler's laws, they will travel, the, the planet will then travel slower in its orbit. Which means that since it is summer here, and the planet travels slower, the summers will last longer. Over here, since it's winter time and the planet moves faster in its orbit, the winters will be shorter. And again, this is relative to the Northern Hemisphere. And the exact same thing happens on the Earth. Which means, being farther away in the summertime, you have milder summers. Being closer in the wintertime means you have milder winters. So currently on Mars, just like on Earth, in the Northern Hemisphere, there are milder summers and milder winters. Of course, this will change as the precession, angle, because of precession, the angle of the tilt will eventually turn around and the whole thing will be in reverse. Then they'll have very hot summers and very brutally cold winters. Also, the summers will be shorter and the winters will be longer, just like on Earth. Currently, if we compare the duration of the seasons between Earth and Mars, notice we have spring, summer, fall, and winter, and this is all in Earth days, not in Mars days, but in Earth days. The spring on Earth lasts 93 days, and the summer lasts 93 days. So combined, that's 186 days, where the Northern Hemisphere enjoys longer summers and mild summers. Then in the wintertime, we get to fall and winter. Notice that when you combine those two, you end up with 179 days. So there's a significant difference in the duration of spring and summer versus fall and winter. And currently, we have mild winters on the Earth, and we have short winters on the Earth, so that makes for a mild climate in the Northern Hemisphere, which is, on Earth, the, prim the primary, I uh, would say, controller, the primary reason for the climate on the Earth. Of course, with precession changes, that will change. Eventually, we'll have long, bitterly cold winters, and short, hot summers, but short summers. And again, the climate will therefore change tremendously when the angle of angle changes, the, the actual angle changes due to precession. Looking at Mars, we have a similar situation. Notice spring is the longest period on Mars. And the reason why it's slightly offset is because we had that 50 degree angle between the orientation of the perihelion versus the aphelion between Mars and Earth. So, we can see that spring is the longest season, summer is the second longest season, fall and winter then are the two shorter seasons. When we combine these two, notice they combine to have a total of 300 and that looks like 72 days, Earth days, of spring and summer. And then when we combine those two, looks like we have 296 days for winter, fall and winter. So you can see that because the eccentricity on Mars, which means that the duration and the speed at which the planet travels around the sun and the duration of the season, you can see there's a tremendous difference between the length of the warm period in the North Hemisphere versus the cold period, much more severe than we experience on the Earth. But again, this will severely affect the way the polar caps act, both in the Northern Hemisphere and in the Southern Hemisphere, the amount of ice that they accumulate over the winter time and the amount of ice that they lose during the summer time will vastly change over time as the actual tilt changes due to the precession of the, of the planet. Also, of course, the change in the eccentricity of the, plan, of the planet's orbit and the change in the aphelion position of the orbit of the planet. All that constantly changes, and so these numbers will constantly change, and the seasons will accordingly also constantly change, both on Mars and on the Earth. But on Mars, it's much more severe than the Earth because the eccentricity is much greater, and the difference between summer and winter because of that is much greater as well. And that is how it is on Mars. Will days change much? 
they will change. The days will change tremendously, not so much on the Earth. This will potentially just reverse more or less. On Mars will also reverse, but you can see on Mars the differences will be much greater. Yeah, so eventually things will be the other way around. So will mm -hmm. the planet get a little warmer? The summer gets warmer? Well, even though the summers get warmer in the summertime, there will be shorter summers. The winters will proportionally get much colder in the wintertime and much longer winters. And it's that difference in the duration that makes all the difference in the world. Longer winters along with very cold winters will mean that the Ice Age will probably come back on the Earth as well as on Mars. So same thing will happen on both planets.